In this video, we will cover Cruise Pilot, CMOS Automatic, and CMOS Dialog. First, we'll start with CMOS Cruise Pilot. CMOS Cruise Pilot is a throughput control system that uses sensors mounted in the feeder house to measure the crop thickness of the crop map, as well as the moisture and automatic adjustment for ground speed to maintain a constant level of throughput needed to maximize productivity. How Cruise Pilot differs from competitive systems is that it proactively measures the crop density in the feeder house before it enters the threshing system, whereas rotor drive systems on competitive machines react sometimes negatively to the load exerted on them by the crop map. By measuring the crop density proactively, class combines are able to adapt their settings more accurately to changing conditions for more efficient performance. We'll go to the Automatics tab and find our Cruise Pilot menu. We can expand and close our Cruise Pilot menu by clicking on our Cruise Pilot tab. Some features for Cruise Pilot is a full width pressure roller mounted in the feeder house attached to the left and right hand throughput sensors, which measures the crop thickness. There's also moisture sensors on the floor of the feeder house that analyzes the moisture of the plant material for greater system accuracy. In Cruise Pilot, there are three strategies, cruise control, constant throughput, and throughput monitor, we can see here. To activate Cruise Pilot, we have to make sure we select the master switch located here. With the master switch off, we'll see it's in gray and Cruise Pilot will not activate when we hit our steering icon when going in from the headlands. We'll turn on Cruise Pilot and then we will go through our three strategy menus. We'll select our cruise control strategy first. We can see our target values, our only one we're able to set is the set speed. Cruise control is set for a constant ground speed independent of throughput. Our next strategy we'll look at is our constant throughput. Constant throughput automatically adjusts the ground speed to maintain a constant throughput based off the crop thickness measured in the feeder house. This strategy is recommended for using full CMOS automatic. Our next strategy we'll look at is throughput with monitoring. This strategy automatically adjusts ground speed to maintain a constant throughput while maintaining acceptable grain loss within the limits of the loss sensor. This strategy is not recommended when using CMOS automatics. This is because CMOS auto separation and auto cleaning are responsible for maintaining acceptable grain loss by automatically adjusting the rotor speed, rotor cover plates, fan speed, and sieve adjustments to control grain loss. The next thing we'll look at would be our learning zero throughput. It's located at the bottom of the page for Cruise Pilot. We can either tap the icon to learn the procedure by hitting that arrow icon there, or we can see what the learning procedure sets by clicking and holding our zero throughput. We can see in here, we can scroll to see all the conditions that need to be met before it'll learn our zero throughput. After you select the operating strategy, you will need to calibrate the feeder house throughput sensors. Start this by engaging the processor and the feeder house and switch the engine to full idle. You do not have to have any crop in the machine. Next, we'll scroll the bottom of the screen, select this learning procedure, and then we can learn our zero throughput. Next, we'll start by talking about the target ground speed. If you're using the cruise control strategy, you will need to set the target speed so you are able to harvest at that speed in the field. To do so, we can simply tap on our settings of our strategy and go to cruise control. This value is set from 1.2 miles per hour to 9.9 .9 miles per hour. After we do make an adjustment by either using the top arrow caret, tapping on the center of the number, using the side arrow or plus and minus buttons, we have to make sure to hit the check mark. To engage Cruise Pilot, we have to lower the head into the working position on the CMOS handle, and then we're able to start cruise control by hitting the autopilot button on the CMOTION handle. Our next target value we'll look at is setting the top speed or maximum speed of the machine when using Cruise Pilot. This is used either when using a constant throughput or throughput with monitoring strategy. You'll need to enter a max ground speed. This setting prevents the combine from harvesting too fast in areas with little of crop. 
To set the maximum ground speed, you will tap on the icon after changing your strategy here. Once we tap the icon of our target value for maximum speed, we'll enter a speed. This speed is the fastest that you are comfortable harvesting at. Once we have our desired speed, tap the icon check mark to confirm. If this speed is too fast or too slow, we can repeat this procedure by entering a different speed. The next target value we'll look at is throughput. Target throughput is the level you want cruise pilot to maintain for crop thickness in the combine. The strategies that this will be allowed for is our constant throughput and throughput monitoring strategies and can be set two ways. Manually by tapping on the throughput icon and adjusting the crop thickness as desired going into the machine or when we're in our working position and going through the field we can hold our autopilot button for three seconds this will change our crop mat going into the machine and change this value. The operator can adjust automatically as described before as many times going through the field when we're at our specific working height. If the throughput is not high enough for the combine to reach its max ground speed setting, we can hit this button again when we're harvesting through the field to change our throughput parameter. The next target value we'll look at is maximum engine load setting. The maximum engine load setting is a percentage of the engine load. When this value is met, it will reduce the ground speed to allow the combine to recover from the high engine load. If the engine load is exceeded in the setting, the combine will back down in ground speed and throughput until the engine load is maintained at its parameter. This function helps prevent the combine from overloading, especially in harvesting tough to thresh conditions. Its range goes from 85 to 101.5%. A good starting range for this parameter is 95 to 100% and is adjusted as needed when going through the field. Next we'll look at their parameter section at our sensitivity. The operator can adjust the sensitivity of the system for how fast it wants to respond. We can tap the sensitivity icon here and we can see different settings for how fast we want cruise pilot to go. Very soft will be very slow adjustments when entering and exiting the headlands. And then the very aggressive, it'll have the quickest response for ground drive when going in and out of the headlands. We usually recommend having medium to start. The more aggressive the setting, the faster it will respond. You do not want to have the sensitivity set to aggressive in tough conditions. This might cause the system to overload. Next, we'll look at the ground speed during emptying. There are two unloading modes that can be set for this position. It'll be either off or emptying. Emptying will reduce the ground speed by 15% and remain there while unloading on the go. This setting is recommended for tough harvesting conditions. If the operator wants to deactivate the emptying mode while unloading on the go, they can press the autopilot button on the C motion handle. When the unloading system is switched off and the unloading tube swings back into its cradle, the ground speed will resume. If the operator wants to leave the unloading tube swung out and the ground speed will resume after 20 seconds of deactivating our unloading drive. If we do not want to have this mode on, we can switch it off. This was an overview of our cruise pilot menu. We will now talk about CMOS Automatic. We'll get into our CMOS Automatic menu here. Everyone's looking for an edge and the Lexion Combine gives you that advantage. At the peak of the precision of CMOS Automatic, Combine automation system that gives autonomous and automatic real-time infield adjustments. Equipped with more in-cab control and on-the-fly adjustment capabilities, along with the highest quality of machine performance feedback, the Lexion Combine makes certain that you're always set up to succeed. Some CMOS Automatic notes, it was released in 2013, CMOS Automatic is the industry most experienced combine automation system. Autonomously and automatically controls our combine settings and adjustments. It also has self-learning system that tests alternate settings to ensure that the machine is running at max efficiency. It also allows for full automation of machine optimization. CMOS Automatic is a machine optimization system designed to autonomously maintain optimal performance continuously while harvesting and including the standard functionality of auto separation and auto cleaning with optional auto threshing and auto chopping. The advantage of CMOS Automatic is it takes the guesswork out of setting a combine 
by adjusting the settings automatically based on the feedback from the multiple sensors, including Cruise Pilot. What sets CMOS Automatic apart from the competitors is CMOS Automatic learns automatically and changes based on the conditions that cause them to operate fully autonomously to achieve the highest accuracy and performance. Throughout the day, moisture will change from the plant and the grain. CMOS Automatic will change settings in all crop throughput areas. Throughout the day, moisture will change for the plant and the grain. CMOS Automatic will change its settings in all crops through all throughput areas, through threshing, separation, cleaning, and chopping, to give the most performance in these conditions. CMOS Automatic allows the operator to choose the automatic function that best suits their need. To turn on or turn off any of these features, tap the automatic icon to the right in the CBIS display shown here. We can turn auto threshing on or off by pressing that master switch. Auto threshing automatically adjusts our concave clearance and our threshing cylinder speed. Auto separation automatically adjusts our rotor speed and our rotor cover plates. Auto cleaning automatically adjusts our upper and lower sieve position as well as our fan speed. We'll next talk about auto slope. Auto slope is a feature of auto cleaning and can be activated and deactivated when auto cleaning is off. Auto slope will help maintain the sieve position and fan speed when going up and down a hill to maximize our grain savings in those conditions. We'll next talk about auto crop flow. Auto crop flow is an overload prevention system and is not an auto crop setting feature. It is recommended that this remains on while harvesting. Auto chop is our last feature and controls the friction floor and the stationary knives. For auto crop flow to change its sensitivity, we'll have to go into settings. We can see our auto crop flow setting for sensitivity is currently set to high. We do have three total settings for this menu. Low is a slight delay in response. Medium is a quick response and high is a very fast response for tough conditions. What causes auto crop flow to activate is a sudden drop in threshing, separation, or chopper speed. How does it react? It first will look at the unloading system. It will shut it off if unloading on the go. Next, it will shut down cruise pilot and slow the combine down to one mile per hour. Finally, the header drive will be switched off and the header brake will be applied. This will result in power being applied to the processor and prevent the threshing cylinder, rotors, or chopper from stalling and plugging up. Here on the screen we can see our learning procedure for the inclination. This is really important for our CMOS to get our auto slope and 4D systems working correctly. Our Inclination will be learned on level ground and we can start by pointing this arrow. We can also look at more information about the inclination by holding that tab. Here the screen will show what needs to be performed for the learning operation to be performed. Next we'll get into our optimization sliders. We can go into that menu in our optimization strategy. From here we can click on the main page menu and we can see that we have this pop-up menu here. For the top slider, we either have general threshing or increased throughput. If we have the slider to the left, it will favor slower threshing speeds as a function of throughput and conditions make the threshing more gentle. If we slide it to the right for increased throughput, we will have the threshing speed increase as a function of throughput and conditions make the threshing more intense. Looking at the next slider, we can see improved threshing. Improved threshing, when we have that favored, will reduce the concave gap. When we want an increased throughput, we can have the slider favor increased throughput. This will have a larger threshing gap. Next, we'll look at the improved grain cleanliness or increased throughput. Having the slider on the improved grain cleanliness side, we'll narrow the sieves to improve grain cleanliness based on crop throughput. Having the slider to the right, will have higher sieve widths increasing grain capacity. The bottom slider improve chopping quality versus fuel consumption. We can either have it improve the chopping quality which will control the friction floor and stationary knives to get a finer chop or we can have less power going to the chopper and save fuel consumption. This will most likely deactivate our counter knives and leave the friction floor smooth. When you are in the swathing position, there is an additional optimization slider. The additional slider will be for straw quality. When the slider is moved to the left, it will reduce the rotor and threshing drum speeds to improve straw quality. When we go to the increased throughput, 
the rotor speed and threshing speeds will increase and to improve throughput. Next thing we'll talk about is the grain quality camera. The grain quality camera is an optical sensor that takes pictures of the crop flow in the clean grain elevator and uses them to determine the amount of broken grain and foreign material in the system. This is then used to improve system performance through our automatics. To get to our grain quality camera, we can go into our crop menu. Here it's located on our bottom tab and our pictures of our clean grain going into the grain tank would be located here. We can further get into our grain quality camera settings by adjusting foreign material percentage or broken grain. There is also settings on the bottom side for camera display brightness as well as the re refresh rate of the images coming to the CBIS screen. For adjusting the display for percentage of cracked grain, we'll have to go into this page. While harvesting uniform area in the field, check if the broken grains displayed on the optimization dashboard match what you're seeing in the grain tank. If not, we can go back into this menu, into our settings, and adjust this as needed. Adjust the sensitivity step by step until the desired level is reached. If the right hand yellow slider on the optimizational dashboard does not represent the actual amount of broken grain in the tank, CMOS automatic functions may not perform as accurately as needed to fix the issue. For adjusting the display for percent in foreign matter while harvesting in a uniform field, we'll have to check the display in the optimizational dashboard located in the second column to the right. Next, we'll talk about CMOS Dialog. CMOS Dialog helps utilize the full potential of the combine. The machine operator is guided to the ideal settings step-by-step step with suggestions for optimization. CMOS Dialog helps improve all settings of the machine from the header, threshing, separation, cleaning, and finally the chopper. CMOS Dialog is a dialog-based machine optimization strategy followed by confirmation by the operator. The system is continuous system-based monitoring of the machine. It also targets optimization suggestions for direct adjustment of the machine system. There is also recommended settings for all assemblies included the front attachment. CMOS Dialog monitors the machine performance values such as the separation, cleaning loss, and tailings volume. If any of these values are out of adjustment, the operator receives a message in the CBIS screen with possible suggestions for optimization. We'll now go through the CMOS dialog menu. At the top, we have our start optimization. This is based off the operator and seeing any issues going throughout the field. So if we had any grain quality issues, we can go through the menu and it'll provide suggestion feedback to optimize performance. Next, we have conditions. This page has parameters of field conditions as well as machine equipment. If our pre-concave flaps are open, we can adjust that in here as we can also say what the crop condition is, if it's standing, laid, or weedy. The next menu down is our settings page. We can have that machine observation turned on or off. What this menu does will pop up on CBIS suggestions when going throughout the field using CMOS Dialog. Next, we have an information tab. It gives a brief overview of CMOS Dialog, CMOS Dialog and Cruise Pilot, as well as CMOS Dialog and CMOS Automatic. The final tab, we have a checklist. This is good for the start of the season, as well as we have a menu for changing crop types. Once you do complete any of these lists, we can simply check on or check off, just as a friendly reminder at the start of the season or when changing crops. The last topic in the CMOS Dialog menu is our troubleshooting guide. In this menu, we do have general settings for the machine, cruise pilot settings as well as CMOS automatic settings. We can go to the desired menu and it'll tell us settings that cruise pilot is not active. We can switch on and off cruise pilot by going to the master switch. Activate cruise pilot by using our autopilot button on the C-Motion handle. This was a quick overview of cruise pilot, CMOS automatic, and CMOS dialog. If you have any further questions, please reference the operator's manual.